what is up guys I hope you all are doing great uh, so I just got back from a week's vacation in Sydney Australia visited quite a number of sneaker stores including consignment shops uh, in hopes to find a pair of Nike Air Fear of God Raid in the light bone colorway but there wasn't any as you know from the last episode I was pretty disappointed with my pair due to quality issues where this, the outsole wasn't entirely glued to the upper and had them returned to Nike eventually. Anyway, shoes are generally cheaper uh, in Australia as compared to Singapore. However, hype shoes such as Yeezys, you know, they, they resell well over a thousand dollars over there. Most of the stores have off-white Nikes scattered all over the shop while Yeezys have their own dedicated walls and sometimes at the display front of the shop. And because I was wearing a pair of statics while I was in Sydney, two complete strangers, you know, on separate occasions on the street, walk up to me and offered to buy them like off my feet. Uh, that was insane. But that meant that, you know, Yeezys are still high in demand over there. Anyway, back to the Fear of God race. That goes to show how much I really liked the shoe and was willing to buy a second pair at resale. I might still get them at StockX, but it is the $40 shipping cost that, you know, that's kind of holding me back. That said, Fear of God, in collaboration with Nike, released another colorway last week. And here it is. Man, this is the FOG Raid in the Black Fossil colorway. And just like the Lightbone colorway, I got them at retail price as well. In fact, for less than retail after applying a 15% discount code. Now before I get into the details of the shoe, I would like to let you guys in on a little secret I discovered on how to cop shoes on Nike.com. Without the use of bots, without multiple devices or web browsers, seasoned sneakerheads who might have this information can skip this segment. But for the benefit to those who might be new in this game or have been struggling to cop shoes forever, well this is for you. First off, know when is the drop date and time you can find all the information at the launch calendar so when it is finally dropping have the page ready and just wait for the countdown after which you can select you know your size and add it to cart just like a normal purchase if you are lucky it goes to your shopping cart which has never happened to me once and within minutes uh, either you get time out or you know your size selection gets grayed out implying that um, they are not available or worse item gets sold out so what is the secret exactly well truth is and i figured this out myself that they aren't exactly sold out until they are no longer listed on the page so what happens throughout the day is that they get restocked from time to time the page may even go missing but you know fret not don't give up refresh it every 10 minutes or so they do come back and oftentimes present you with the whole selection of sizes for you to choose again you may get the same error messages but you know keep on trying repeat those steps until you get the shoe that has worked for me very successfully it took me about two and a half hours from time of launch to get this pair and probably five hours for the light bone colorway so you literally have to dedicate time and effort when it comes to copying shoes but that's just part of the game and it is pretty addictive i must say right the shoe i won't be talking about the you know what materials goes on here and such uh, since i've already mentioned that in the last video the only difference is its color this comes in an all black upper and fossil outsole to be honest i don't know if fossil is a real color but just know it has this cream edge look that I really dig. I don't have the light bone version with me but you can compare the outsole with the FOG moccasin. The difference is very subtle but I do prefer the uh, sail cream outsole on the black rates. Speaking of the outsole, I am very pleased to tell you that these are glued to the upper as they are supposed to be. Not like the incomplete one which I had with the light bone. It is not without fault still. The nylon or whatever that is, uh, is supposed to be tucked into the top of the tongue. But the right shoe has
and it's sticking out with glue exposed. I'm just gonna live with it. And I'm also going to ignore the fact that the labels might be wrong. This is the Fear of God raid. You can call it Air 180, whatever. But the Fear of God one is another silhouette. And since I did own the light bone version momentarily, do I like this colorway as much? After wearing them for a day, I'm glad to say that these grew on me. Aside from my dress shoes, I, I realized that I don't have many black shoes. So, you know, this is very welcome in my collection. Now, I don't necessarily agree that black is easier to match with outfits. I think the light bone is just as good. And if you know me, I wear shoes like this. And just yesterday, I wore these Keith Ultra Boots with dress pants. I guess as long as you feel comfortable and don't, you know, care about what others think or say, you would be able to rock any outfit or combination. But what I do like about, you know, this pair of black braids is how subtle it is. Like in stealth mode, but undeniably a pair of Fear of Gods because of its double stack IC blue zoom unit. I'm very happy with this purchase and I see myself wearing this a lot. And in case you're wondering, these fit true to size. So I guess that wraps up today's video, but please stay on for the usual on fit footage. I genuinely hope you guys enjoy and benefit from the shoe copying segment. Friends from other countries, please drop a comment down below if the method works for you as well. Perhaps not applicable to the US because you guys have the sneakers app, uh, we don't. Well, at least in Singapore, we don't. But give me your love and support anyway, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and until the next episode, you guys take care, peace.